Hey guys, welcome back to Dipswitch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we are checking out the Onkel Amps 5 Watt Slave Driver Preamp and Head. <laughs> The Slave Driver is essentially an excellent amp for gigging, recording, uh, practicing, so many different uses and it's actually also got some really cool unique things going on here as well. It's a really really loud amp, don't let the, that 5 watt um, kind of rating fool you, it's super loud, definitely loud enough to keep up with a rock drummer. Um, that being said though, it's pretty dirty all the way, there's not much clean headroom but that's kind of cool anyway, it's kind of part of the uh, vibe of this amp, it's just meant to be a raw, raucous experience. That being said though, it actually does take pedals really, really well. Most of the time that I've been playing with this, I've been putting a delay even in the front end of the amp, a delay and reverb into the front end of the amp, and it really takes it surprisingly well. There's also an effects loop on here as well, so um, if you're running your amp really hot, you can put that reverb in there and it still stays pretty clean. What really piqued my interest about these amps though is uh, the way that it can be used without a speaker. Essentially there is a dummy load in this amp so you don't actually have to plug in a speaker at all. Um, you can either run it directly into an audio interface and record with it if you've got a kind of a cab simulator on your door um, or you can even run it straight into the front end or into the pre power amp section of another amp which is a really unique feature almost using this amp as a pedal as like a drive pedal really cool way of using the amp and you get some really unique tuby tones the amp is driven by an electro harmonics 6v6 gt power section and a single jj uh, 5751 preamp tube um, it uses really high components including switchcraft jacks, classic tone transformers and military spec caps and trans for transistors. Obviously the first thing you notice about this amp is the enclosure. It is this beautiful solid wood um, kind of handmade sort of thing going on here. Um, you can pretty much custom order any solid wood you like. This one is a flame maple and hickory combination. Um, so it's a really beautiful figured uh, wooden enclosure. Controls, on the 5 watt version we have a simple volume and tone, no messing about there, just straight forward rock essentially. Uh, you reach about max volume on this amp at about 12 o'clock and then anything above that just you get more crunchy goodness. On the front we also have high and low switches and a bright switch for tailoring the sound to your guitar and your uh, ear essentially. Um, on the back we have your power on switch, um, we also have a line out with an instrument or line level. Then we also have a negative feedback switch, which is probably my favorite control on the whole amp. Don't ask me what negative feedback is doing because I don't really know, but essentially on this, it's really drastically changing the character of uh, the whole sound. More specifically, the gain of the amp and how it breaks up. We have three modes of the negative feedback. We have heavy, light, and off. Um, so in heavy, you get kind of a more martially British breakup sound. Off we have a more uh, kind of raw 50s tweed style breakup and then in light we have a more 60s brown face sort of less gain sort of thing going on there. Like I said the amp is really loud um, so he's also built me a little attenuator um, to go on here as well just to kind of tame uh, the levels a bit when I'm recording. So if you see me fiddling about with this a little bit during the demo I'm just kind of keeping the levels consistent and being able to drive the amp a lot without kind of blowing my ears off a little bit. Um, I think what I would really like to see is have these built into the amp, I think as an option essentially if you pay a little more get one of these built into the amp, I think that would be really really cool to have. We are going to go through some tones, first we're going to use it as like a classic amp head, so run my pedals straight into the front end, uh, just run it straight into a cabinet essentially and that's what you're hearing. And then after we've done that, if we've got some really cool tones with that, we're going to run the amp into the front end of my Victory. I'm using my 
Music Man St. Vincent, like I said, into the board with a few effects on it, into the Onkel amps. So let's get some tones. <laughs>
Thanks for checking out the video guys, if you like what you saw please subscribe and maybe check out some more videos, um, anyway I'll see you in the next one guys, cheers!